we've all made the same mistake of walking obliviously through the redwoods and not realizing that there is a phylacolio just in the distance there waiting for you to walk past. Then the next minute you're getting pounced on and mauled to death by this thing and it's not a pretty sight but let's face it once you can tame a phylacolio it is the best you will ever get. The thylacolio is one of my most requested creatures and with good reason it's just practically a four-legged rex. These guys are great for collecting hide and meat but the best of all they're just one kill machine and if you can get a bunch of them i don't think anyone is going to stand up to your tribe so guys sit back relax and let's go tame ourselves a thylo have three thylacolios and I am breeding them because I'm ready to go to war and go in a cave and thylacolios are probably one of the best you can have for a cave adventure anyways and today we're going to need another one so what we're going to need first is the saddle for the thylacolio and that can be unlocked at level 51 and the materials you're going to need is 155 fiber, 290 hide, and 20 metal ingots. Now, this is mid-game. At least you should have these materials for definite, as it's not very demanding, actually. Okay, guys, so when it comes to the equipment, what we're going to take today is our bow and arrow. We're going to go for a change. We're going to take the bow and arrow, and obviously we're going to need our tranks. We're also going to take our spear, because we need protection. But also we're going to take our shotgun as well for extra precaution if we need it. Obviously some shotgun shells. We're going to take a giant bear trap as well today. We'll take that. We're going to take a crossbow with some grapple hooks. Now we'll only take two. That should do. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take our eight stone pillows. Now you can use metal if you like. Don't use glass, thatch or wood because the thylo can break that. But if you take stone pillows, I've got eight. So that should be enough for us. That should do the trick of what we want to do. So we're going to need narcotics. So definitely take at least everything you have. At least 300, I'd say, is the very least. Depending on how high the level is. If you've already scouted ahead and you've seen it's a low level, don't worry too much. But me, I'm going to take 300 just to be safe. So when it comes to the taming food, guys, the best one to take is the extraordinary kibble now if you don't have this because it is pretty hard to get you need one special egg or a golden hesperonis egg one giant bee honey one lazarus chowder five fiber ten medjo berries and obviously water to create this so it is a bit hard to get your hands on if you don't have that get some cooked prime meat or cooked meat they prefer their meat cooked so if you have raw prime meat or normal cooked meat then they would prefer the normal cooked meat over the raw prime meat so they're a bit funky like that they're a bit picky when it comes to the food and because we're going to the redwoods guys one of the dangerous places on Ark, i'm going to be taking my spino just to keep me safe a lot of people like to use flyers now i don't like to use the flyers because if you get knocked off by the thylo you're kind of in trouble i like to have the powerhouse behind me when it comes to the thylo the only place you can find them is the redwoods and yes it is a very dangerous place so either bring your best flyer or your powerhouse dino like me i'm bringing a spino along because it's so dangerous just get into the redwoods if you approach it from the south you're going to encounter the swamps that obviously houses sarcos and everything in between like that baryonyxes and if you come from the north you're going to go through the black sands where the rexes are the raptors you've got allosauruses the list goes on and on really if you go from east or west you kind of got a joint of both the black sands and the swamp biome so it's a bit dangerous there as well that's just to get to the redwoods and then when you get inside the redwoods you've got pelovias you've got thylacolias you've got micro raptors you've got everything like that that wants to kill you as well as diabetes Oh, 
Oh. Okay, guys, so we've made it to the Redwoods finally. And you just got to be careful when you're walking through the Redwoods because Thylos will come out of everywhere. The main key is to spot a Thylo before the Thylo spots you. And that is why you bring a Spino to the Redwoods because everything around you wants to kill you. So that's a great example of why you bring such a powerhouse dino. There is so much in the Redwoods that can kill you. At least if you're on a Spino or a Rex or something like that, Raptors and things like that won't bother you. You just need to worry about Allosauruses and Rexes mainly. Now Thylos are located up in the trees. You'll see them hanging. They kind of look like lizards on the side of the trees. But if you can find them before they find you, that is a great bonus. Now, if I was looking for a specific level or gender, I would use a spyglass, but because I'm literally not fussed, any will do, it's just to add to my collection, then it doesn't bother me what I get. And what I would recommend as well, guys, is making sure that you're aware that one will jump out at any minute at you, because that's what they're like. They will literally just jump. It does scare the poop out of you sometimes. Happy birthday! There's a strategy you can use to spot them a bit easier. Doesn't always work, but what I tend to do is go around the hole outside. It's a bit more safer as well, and you can see a bit clearer in. And just try and spot the ones that are on the outside from a distance. If not, go inside into the mountain area and go around there for a little bit. Have a little wander around, looking up the trees just before then taking the last approach of going actually inside. That doesn't work on me, son. Also bear in mind you can find them around the beach areas. Maybe if they've dropped from the tree to attack a flyer, they don't run back up the trees once they've dismounted the trees. So bear that in mind, once they have dropped from the trees, they will linger on the floor. They won't run back up the trees. Six and a half hours later. Okay, guys. So, I can see a Thylo over there up in the tree. Now, what I need to do is clear this area out of every dino I can. Or any anything dangerous. So, like these frogs, I don't trust you guys. Uh, what else we got? Oh, no. Okay, so that looks like we could... Uh, we, we might actually have, have a good... Uh, oh, hey, oh, we've got some... Uh, some of you flying little ants, you guys go down. Okay, so what we've got to do, find a flat location will be the best. If not, don't worry about it, just anywhere will do. But then what we need to do is let's make sure he's still there. So we're going to place it about here and let that spring into action. Place in a pillow here, pillow here, pillow here. And we're... Oh, it's a terror bird, it's okay. And we're just going to place it around the trap like this. There we go. So that is the trap pretty much set. And we should have one left like so. And we're going to place it here when the thylo's in the trap. Oh, God. We've got, we've got a terror bird coming. I was going to say, don't you dare activate my trap. And there we go. Just, just get rid of all the trash. Okay, guys, so just remember to set your Spino or whatever creature you have to passive because otherwise it'll start attacking the Thylo. And you don't want to kill your Thylo, especially if you're like me and you've been looking for a while. Oh, he's just jumped. Oh, no, that's not good. I suppose it doesn't matter. One shot, though, when they're perched on the tree will knock them down. So now it's just a case of trying to find the Thylo now. Where is it? Where's it gone? Okay, so we've got a Thylo around here. I'm going to go get my Spino again. Walk around on my Spino. I'm going to try and find that Thylo. So I think it's safe to say that our Thylo has gone. Oh, we found our Thylo. He's here. Come follow me. Oh. Oh, no, Spino. Just about to kill it and it ate. Right, where is he? Is he here? Okay, so we've got him. We managed to find him somehow. 
I don't even know where he come from, but he's, he's back here. We've got a nice, uh, nice coloured one actually, and he's determined he wants us dead. Put the uh, run here and try and aim it so it goes in. There we go. We got him. And now seal the trap, and there we go. He no longer can get out. And I'm just going to quickly... No, I'm not. I was going to say I'm going to kill that terror bear, but that terror bear looks like it's okay there. And what I'll do is I'll stand on my uh, my spino. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to try and get his head. 28. Not too bad. So it shouldn't be too hard to uh, knock down. It doesn't matter what, what level it is now. We can take our time. He can't get out of that. He can't, like, run up the walls or anything like that. So don't worry about that. Whoops. That uh, hit the uh, pillow. Like that. And yeah, they're literally he's just trapped. And the reason why I use I'm using a bow is because you can shoot him a bit quicker. You mind? I keep thinking I'm hearing footsteps around me, but I don't think I am. Come on, go down, mate. There we go. We got him. It's a he. We have a baby boy. And then what we need to do is taking you, you, place it all at you, and you. Okay, so what you need to watch out for with the Thylacolios is their torpidity goes down rapidly. I mean, look at that. This is why I did recommend bringing as many narcotics as you can. It's okay if you don't use them. You can always put them elsewhere. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. Okay, so now Thylacolio is up. And, oh, yeah, all four. Oh, no mind. He ate all four of our extraordinary kibble. Now, when it comes to the Thylo, the best thing about them is the way they can travel around the terrain. Now, it's very rocky here, and we can use our giant leap that allows us to jump over any rocks that we need to. They can also run up vertical walls or trees like so. This is probably the best thing about the Thylos, is the fact that they can hide up trees, help regenerate health while they're up here. Their stamina doesn't deplete either while they're hanging on. If you move up and down the tree, then your stamina will decrease rapidly. But if you just stay still, the stamina will stay the exact same. And this is great for getting out of the way of dinos like me. I'm pretty low and I needed a place to rest just to get away from everything. And you can wait until the aggro goes and lowers and then you can come down the tree and away on your jollies again. Do bear in mind when you are jumping around like so that you can take quite a bit of fall damage in fact that's the reason why i'm such a low health at the minute because i've been jumping around and you take a bit of fall damage because you jump really high especially if you're jumping from a tree you can take some fall damage as well as well as being able to ride the thylo you can actually shoot from the thylo as well so if you can learn to control it i'm not the best at controlling it like this in first person but you can get good at doing this you can actually tame a lot of creatures using this method of just literally shooting while you're on the back of another dino me i'm not so good at it myself i'm not gonna lie but you can get used to it you can get better at it i'm getting a bit better actually so as well as being able to use the trees as a way to regenerate your health safely you can also do a nice little pounce attack and this can work on flyers and non-flyers both the same if it's a flyer, it can knock them out of the sky. If it's a non-flyer, then it'll just knock them down to the ground and pin them. And basically all you do is you face down and you get a cross here when your thylo is facing down. And then what we'll do is we'll wait for one of these to hopefully get up in the air and we'll pounce on them. Okay, so we can see he's over there and these guys can literally launch themselves really far. Look at that. We got it. What a jump. And just like that, we pin them down and we can attack them. And if there is a person mounting this, you will take the person off. The mount will be fine, so the Pteranodon would be fine. But you would pin the player down and they wouldn't be able to run away. So you would literally have them at your mercy. So if you have something like me, I have a Plovia trying to eat me and you want to just get away you don't want to kill it or anything you can use your jump attack and you'll just pounce away like so and run away 
Now the stamina of a Thylacolia goes down pretty slow actually considering when you are jumping up and down all the time and you're up rocks and stuff it can deplete a bit quick but other than that if you're just running around then you won't need to worry about your stamina it's just when you're climbing trees or jumping around a lot that you'll actually use a lot of stamina okay so we've got some uh, some deers running past i always call them deers for some reason there we go look at that beautiful pounce and we've got that beautiful deer and it's going down oh we're we gonna lose this we might lose it we've got a good amount oh no we've got it not only are the thylos great on the land they are actually pretty good in the water as well as you can see we're swimming rather quickly and i love that about the thylos it doesn't matter where they are they are great whether they're in the air whether they're on the land or whether they're in the water they're doing good so i've done this whole episode with a very low health thylo so it just shows you these guys can survive almost anything i mean this this poor thylos took a beating and we're going to kill this terror bird and we're going to show you how much damage these guys can deal and they can look at that we just took him out easily and we only took less than a hundred less than 50 i believe actually of health these guys resistance against damage is awesome so if you want to use your thylo as an ambushing predator you can leave him up top perched on a tree like so i mean he's just chilling there just ride up it jump off and you can go away and leave him and then come back a few days or minutes later or whatever and he'll still be up there just chillaxing as they do and just whistle to get them down and that is it for me guys i hope you did enjoy this video it has been a tough one i'm not even gonna lie like everything was just going down you know what it's like when you enter the redwoods things just start attacking you from anywhere and everywhere my poor thylo hasn't had a break he's just been literally getting attacked by creature after creature but we got there in the end it just shows you how tough the thylos are and i'm not gonna lie guys these are great for traveling around like say the speed they can run the speed they can swim they can climb they can literally pounce they have good attack damage and this is just without a doubt one of the best dinos you can tame so if you did like it guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget especially to subscribe don't forget to share it with all your friends and we should be looking for the artifact of hunter next so guys please stick around for that i'm going to be taming up a lot of thylos and a lot of raptors and breeding them and everything like that getting ready as the last time i went to try and do it i did get mauled to death because i didn't expect how hard it would be but this time we're coming prepared with thylos and raptors so stick around for that and i'll see you in the next episode